Well, hi, and welcome to the 12 Days of Christmas blog. Today's blog is all about how to write an ad hoc query in some of the tools that come with Business One. So in the scenario for today's little online demonstration, we wanted to write a query that didn't exist in Business One already. So most of what you what you require should have been come with Business One as standard or set up for you. But let's say there's just something you need to query out that it just isn't covered or you know it's, it's you just kind of need a quick access to some information. We're going to go and we're going to use a tool called the Query Wizard and the Query Wizard can be found by going to the Tools menu in the up top menus and you'll find a area called Queries and you can see that there's a few tools with respect to query. There's this thing called the Query Manager which we'll talk about in a moment. There's something called the Query Generator. It's sort of a more Kind of advanced tool, but it's uh, one that's often favored by our consulting team to write queries. And we're going to use the wizard here. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to launch that. The wizard's sort of nice because it's a step-by-step -step tool that allows you to build a query. And and obviously the prerequisite here, you know, you don't need to know SQL or standard query language to be able to write your queries. This wizard will do it for you. So step one just kind of tells you what the query wizard is. The second screen we get to here, so all of the information in Business One is stored in a database, and in the database, information comes from what's called tables. So we need to know the name of the table that um, our customers are stored in. And I know the abbreviation for that table off the top of my head because I do a lot of work with it, but you may not know what the abbreviation for that table is, but if I have my cursor in the table field and I hit tab, I'm going to get a list of all of the possible tables that are in the database. I'll just make that bigger. And if I double click on the description line here and sort by the description, I can start to search based on the information I'm looking for. So in this case, we want a listing of all business partners. So I'm going to start by typing business partner. You can see that there are a number of tables that relate to the business partner we're actually interested in this table, just the straight up business partner table. And the name of that table is OCRD. Let's say that we had difficulty finding what we needed to from this list. Let's hit this from a different direction. So I'm gonna open up really quickly the business partner record here. And I'll just pick the first one in sequence. So how can we know where our data in the database is coming from. With this business partner record open, or with any form in Business One open, I'm gonna go up to the View menu. I'm gonna select this option here that says System Information. Okay, so if I go back there, you see that System Information is turned on. Okay, and when I start mousing over fields in this table, notice how in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and I won't move my cursor uh, because it will the information will go away, but I've got my cursor over the name of the business partner and in the bottom left hand corner you can see that it says a little something about where this business partner is from. We're going to take a screenshot of that and, um, and we'll highlight that information there. We'll include it in the blog. But basically it says where this table comes from and at the bottom you can see there's kind of a long description and near the end it says OCRD. That's actually the table in the database that it comes from. So that's another way to find that information if you can't find it from the list. So we're going to click on OCRD and we're going to click choose. And when we do that, we've told the system that we want to write a query based on the business partner table. And here are some of the other tables that are linked to it. So if we wanted other data from other tables like the price list table or payment terms, I just scroll through this list here countries, etc. We can also select those tables as well. The data that we need is only in the business partner table, but we could double click and add one of these tables as well. So we'll go ahead. So the next step is we want to kind of put a row for every column of data that we need. So in, in our query, what we want to see is we want to see a little chart or a little table of data with three columns in it. And the first column is going to be business partner code. The second column is going to be business partner name. And the third column is going to be the 
bill to country or the, the country that the business partner is in. So we're, we're basically going to get a report that has three columns of data. And this is where the three columns of data get defined. So we start off, I'm just going to say, fit the column width here so that it's easier to see. So business partner table is the only table that we're working with. So we keep that selected. And again, with my cursor in the field, field, I'll hit tab. And here are all the data columns that I can select. So we're looking for business partner code. If I double click on the description here again, I can search by description. And we'll start off by putting BP. And it does take a little while to understand that the field name is BP code. You might have to sort of search through this list a bit before you, you get to that. But we're going to select BP code. We're going to choose it. We're also going to select another field. We're going to select the name. So I'll tab. I'll hit tab again. And it just so happens I know the BP name is down here farther in the list. So I'm going to hit choose. And then the last thing we want to display is we want to display the country that the business partner is from. So if I scroll through this list, so right now it's being sorted on the name of the field. So this is the field's sort of short alphanumeric code. And this is its long description. And if I wanted to double click on the description column, then I'm alphabetically sorting the description field. So if I go down a little bit and I search for country or business partner, the description field would be in this case ship to country. So I'm going to type that in. And you can see I've got, uh, oh, sorry, not ship to country, bill to country. And you can see we've got bill to country right here. And notice that we also have a field called county. So it's good not to confuse those two here. So we'll pick ship to country. We'll choose it. So basically what we're defining here is we're saying we want a report with three columns of data. The first one's going to show the code. The next one's going to show the name of the business part of the description. And the third one's going to show the country. And we can choose how to sort these. So like, let's say we want to sort the report based on the name of the business partner first. And we're going to sort it ascending. So, you know, uh, first letter of the business partner, the ones that start with A are first, you know, down to Z, that kind of thing. But we can do descending. And we can also do things like we can group together, etc. But we're just going to keep it simple. And uh, we're not going to sort by any other factor here, uh, just because we know our data won't, won't necessarily sort. So when I am done selecting what data I want in the query, the next page here is, are there any conditions on the data that should be displayed? So what that means is, should I be filtering um, what I display for you in your query? And this is really what you're telling Business One to do. So in this case, what we actually want to see is we don't want to see a list of all business partners. We want to list, see a list of all business partners that are not Canadian customers because that was our scenario for the day. So in order to apply that filter, we sort of have to use this display conditions logic to lay that out. So we won't worry about this quotations thing here right now because we don't need it if we're just using one. We're going to pick. So in the table business partner, based on the field of country, which is a little farther down on the list here, bill to country. If that field, and we're going to use the uh, condition here, not equal. And I know that there are, there are essentially kind of two major values, but our, our country uh, information here is, um, with using the, it's in the format of the two letter country code. So all of the Canadian business partners will have CA in its country code. And we're interested in seeing all of our non-Canadian business partners. So in table or CRD, if the field country is not equal to Canada, then display, uh, display data. So we're sort of, we're sort of using a, a negative filter to kind of filter out what we want. So we click next here. Now it's going to show us the SQL code. So we don't have to understand how to write the SQL code, 
but here it is. It's summarized for us right here. Okay, and we could actually even select this and copy and paste it elsewhere if we needed it elsewhere. So now that our query is done, we're going to click Finish. And if we've done it correctly, it should run for us. So I'll make that bigger here. Here we have um, three columns of data, like we defined in the first view of the query wizard. We've got the business partner code, we've got the name, and we've got the bill to country. And because some of the data is um, data that we can drill down on, like the code, it includes the business one golden arrow in it. So, you know, the business partner code includes a golden arrow if we wanted to drill right from the query into the business partner record. There we go. So that's kind of nice. This particular query, let's say we wanted to um, save it and use it again. So we can save it right from the query preview window here. We go down to the bottom right hand corner and we click on the save button. You'll get this little dialog box called save query. So we want to save the query in a certain category and you can set up as many categories as you want for queries in your business one system. I mean some people have um, you know uh, marketing queries or uh, inventory queries or or purchasing queries that sort of thing. We just have a general category and if I expand this it says okay no queries belong to this group. So we're just going to save this as we're going to say this is our business partner list not Canada. All right, we've saved it to the general group. We're going to click Save. So now we've saved this query. All of our good work has not gone to waste. And I'm just going to close that and close the query wizard. If we want to access that query again, then we'll go to the what's called the Query Manager, which is this little blue database C icon with the wrench on it. Or we can also get to the Query Manager by going back to the Tools menu, going to Queries, and selecting Query Manager. And we get the query manager window that looks a little something like this. And notice how there are some system queries that are on the system. Okay. And then there are these queries in the general list. And you can see the query that we saved, the business partner list, not Canada, comes up right there. So we select the query in the list and we click OK. And voila, there's our query. Okay. And then you're free to do with this query whatever you'd like. You know, we can. Um, dump this query into Excel by clicking on the Excel button if that's what you'd like to do and uh, you know that's uh, of course assuming that um, uh, Excel is set up and running but we could dump it into Excel and work with it further or um, this kind of thing so that's how to do a basic query in the query wizard thanks for participating in our 12 days of Christmas